Hi, welcome to day 18 of the song explanations on Viewfinder and another one of the unreleased songs, um, Overwhelming Me. Now, I had a period when I was back in Scarborough, um, uh, I had my studio and it was around the time I was working with um, James Toesland and I was, I was working as a producer. I wanted to write a lot of new songs, I wanted to work on some stuff um, and just kind of write for any, any reason at all. I didn't really have a plan, it was just like I wanted to write some songs and, and I was also, part of the reason why I wanted to write these tunes was because I was just getting conversant with Pro Tools um, which and it was a real steep learning curve. I was learning to use these, the, 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 the processes and and I needed some material. And, and so it was a way of experimenting with that, which is part of the reason why it doesn't sound fantastic, I think, really. But but anyway, Overwhelming Me was one of those songs that kind of came out of that those sessions. And it is unashamedly an attempt to appeal to, um, I guess, those kind of Beyonce style, um, you know, sort of song formats, you know, the big... Um, over emphasize in many ways very emotional uh, you, you know sort of uh, narratives and so it's a simple song it, it has no relationship to um, anything that I've experienced particularly it's actually supposed to be sung from the point of view of a, of a, of a woman um, and I wrote that I did that on, on purpose and so and it is just this the, the idea of someone searching for love not finding it and then being overwhelmed when they when they do find it so it's very simple but Weirdly, it's always stuck around, and I think it is one of those songs that, in years to come, you know, maybe they, there'll be a place for it with somebody else, and it could be rewritten. I think it. I think it's quite. Um, I think the recording's very clunky, um, and I there's not a lot of finesse. I played everything on it. That's probably why it sounds so clunky. I played the piano. I played the bass. Played all the guitar. You know, etc. Program the drums, um, and so. It started out what started out as an experiment has now ended up as a piece of music that I can't kind of get rid of. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's something in that. But anyway, um, yeah, it's like I say, it's a demo, um, and it was mixed by my good friend Steve Harris, who's a producer that worked with Little Angels way back in the day, and he very kindly said he would mix mix the track for me. And I do think his mix is fantastic. He did the best possible job he he could with what I gave him. Um, yeah, so yeah, it stands as a little document of that period. Tell me, please, I gotta say no. Unexpectedly Is this how I should feel?